Welcome back. In this exercise, we're going to learn how we can set up our platform. First, we're going to start up an instance of Liferay DXP and prepare that instance to be used as the Livingston platform. Here are the steps we're going to follow. First, we're going to create a Liferay directory for the Liferay bundle. Then we're going to start the Liferay Tomcat bundle. We'll deploy the Liferay DXP activation key and then fill out the Liferay setup wizard that we're automatically brought to. Once we're all done with that, you can explore the Liferay DXP UI. You can find out all the different functionality that you have through the menu on the left. And you can also try to add your own site to the platform, naming it Livingston Test, and try to navigate between it and the default site. We're going to go ahead and install a Liferay instance on a Mac OS X system. Okay, now keep in mind these steps can more or less be followed on Linux as well. Okay, so to start, I have my Liferay DXP Tomcat bundle as well as my activation key. So let's go ahead and start with the installation. All right, so I have a folder here where I have a Liferay folder, okay, in my user home, and I've created a bundles folder. What I'm gonna go ahead and do for simplicity is I'm gonna take my tar gz file and I'm gonna drag it into my bundles folder. I'm gonna go ahead and double click and extract the Liferay bundle. Okay, and now we can go ahead and run our bundle. It's that easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and click into this. You'll see a number of folders here. What we wanna do here is we wanna go ahead and run the application itself and make sure that we have the activation key deployed. Now to do this simply, what we can do is we can take our activation key and go ahead and place it in our deploy folder, okay? Now once the application is started, you can go ahead and place the activation key in there as well and simply refresh. We're just gonna go ahead and do it ahead of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, come into my deploy folder, and I'll go ahead and paste it here. Now from there, we need to go into our Tomcat folder and bin to run the application. Now, if you've run the application on Windows before, you'll know that you can double click startup.bat. On OS X, it's a little bit different. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our terminal. You'll see I already have my terminal here. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to the bin folder. I'll do that by typing in CD, and then I can just drag the bin folder in here, or you can go ahead and type out the path. And we're gonna go ahead and run the file catalina.sh. What this will do is it will run the application and give us logs for the applications running. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in dot slash catalina.sh and run. And we'll go ahead and run it here. All right, this may take a couple of minutes, so we can go ahead and speed up the video here. All right, now once this is done running, what it's gonna do is it's gonna open up a browser window and navigate to localhost 8080. And from there, what we can do is we can go ahead and fill out the initial form for adding the settings for our platform. All right, once we have this running, I'm gonna go ahead and expand this to the larger screen. We're gonna go ahead and fill out the basic information here. I'm gonna change the portal name from Liferay DXP to Livingston Hotels and Resorts. All right, and next what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and add the name of our initial administrative user. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the first name from test to Josiah. And then I'm gonna change the last name from test to Copeland. And then for the email, we'll go ahead and do josiah.copeland at livingston.com. All right, I'll go ahead and click on finish configuration. Okay, I'll go ahead and agree to the initial terms of use. This can be configured later. And for the initial password, I'll just go ahead and type test. And then I'll add test again. You can add whatever you'd like here. And for the password reminder query, the first question is, what is your father's middle name? Mine also happens to be test. Click save. All right, and this brings us to the first site that is created for our Liferay instance. So now we have our first instance of Liferay up and running. 